girl what have you been up to i saw you all on instagram a few months ago showing off your car i guess tony is bringing in that big cash for that investment yeah girl that's uh old news i'm about to buy me a uh, bentley truck real soon girl i wish rich was able to do half of the things that tony does for you that man loves you girl i guess but he should be up for grabs here pretty quickly. What does that mean? Well, as soon as I convince him to make me his wife, I'm also going to convince him to uh, put me on his deed and his accounts and whatever else he owns. And then I'm going to leave him like that sad dog he is and take everything. And then if you'd still think he's so great, you can have them. Lexi, do you hear yourself? You sound crazy. Do you even love Tony? Look, unlike you, I date for love and not material things. Let me ask you something. Tony is a smart businessman. How do you think you're going to convince him to do something so stupid like put your name on his investments? Well, I'm going to use my uh, assets to um, get his assets. And no, I don't love Tony. I just love his money and all the nice things he does for me. Lexi, that's not right what you're doing to Tony. Things like this never end well. It sounds good until it comes back around on you. You really think this is going to play out in your favor? Absolutely. Like you said, he loves me. Lex, when this blows up in your face, don't say I did not warn you. It won't. I always get what I want. Good morning to the most handsome man to ever walk this earth. Mm. Good morning, beautiful. You look stunning. Mm. Is all this for me? Who else would it be for? Mm. Uh, uh uh no touching yet. I want to ask you something. Okay, I'm listening. So, um, we've been together, you know, six months, and I'm thinking that we need to start taking things in a more serious direction like adding my name to the deed and your accounts and the other properties don't you think i should have access to that okay lexi um <laughs> why would you have access to my accounts or anything in your name <laughs> without you being married to me. I mean, don't you think it's a little too soon for that conversation? So you think you can just continue to enjoy all of this without a commitment? Th th that's not what I'm saying. Look, all I'm saying is that all the stuff that I have, I had it way before you. <sighs> Look, I'm, I'm working on something. And I just, I promise you, I'm going to make you happy. I, I just want to do the right thing at, at, at the right time, okay? So what? I'm just supposed to sit and play house with you for years until you're ready to commit and marry me and make what's yours mine? I mean, if you're not going to commit to me, someone else will. What do you mean by that? Look, I'm gonna make you happy. Listen, I'm about to go out of town and just talk with some guy to discuss something very important. And when I come back home, I'm gonna have a surprise for you. Okay? I love you.
What are you doing in my house? Tony, is that you? Steven? Steven! Oh my god! <laughs> Tony! Oh. Wow. I've been looking for you ever since they separated us when we were kids. Wow, it's it's so great to see you. Look, I, I never stopped looking for you. But what are you doing here in my house? But this is your house? Uh-huh. Lexi told me that she lived here alone. Okay, wait, Lexi and I, we, we, we started dating a few weeks ago, and then she invited me over here. I've been staying the last few days, and she, she left this morning. So you mean she's been cheating on me this whole time? And to think I was gonna marry her. See, I went to Europe to go and purchase an investment, and I planned to give her the business so that way she would have something to call her own in her own name. And this is how she repays me. Lion, no good. Tony, oh God, man, Tony, I know you're angry. (laughs) I know this doesn't make any sense to you, and it, it sure doesn't make any sense to me either. I've got an idea. Okay. Okay, wait, now you're supposed to be gone, right? Yeah, I I only came in early to surprise her. Okay, well, she's going to be back here in probably two hours or so. Hey, why don't you come back? And then we'll we'll surprise her and we'll we'll expose her for the two-time and woman that she is. Cool. I like it. Yeah. (laughs) So here's what I'll do. I'm going to go, but uh, I want you to call me just to let me know when, when to come back and everything like that. But man, it's so good to oh, see you. Oh, great to see you too, man. Yeah. I just wish it wasn't under these circumstances. Yeah. All right. I'll be back soon. All, All right. right. Bye, bro. Wow. Huh. Hey, babe. You ready for our date later? I got something sexy for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm ready. Uh hey, by the way, I, I saw a piece of mail that came in that had the name Tony Robbins on it. Who's that? Oh, um yeah, um uh yeah, that would be uh my baby brother, yeah. Um He's unstable, he moves around a lot, so I just told him to have his mail sent here. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, that's just weird because you never mentioned a brother, and in fact, you said that you were an only child. Well, he gets in trouble a lot, so he's never really around. It's kind of like I'm an only child. What's with all the questions? It's all good. No, no, it's, it's fine. It's just <laughs> that, you know, I... You know, I forgot to mention that I have a brother too. Oh. And, and, you know, in fact, he's on, on his way over. Yeah, I, I'd love for you to meet him. <gasps> Steven wants me to meet his family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so sweet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that, that Sam. Hey, come in. Tony, what are you doing here? I thought you weren't coming back till Thursday. Why does that matter? You're here with another man in my house. And he just happens to be my brother. Uh, Your brother? Yes. My brother. Yeah. You've been lying to us both. Yeah, explain yourself, Lex. Uh, um, Look, I I don't care about Steven. I just love the nice things he does for me. I don't love him. Yeah, and you don't love me either. You only care about yourself. And to think I was gonna propose to you. See, I went to Europe to go and purchase an investment so that way you could have a business of your own that you could put it in your name. And I'm so glad that God exposed you for the trifling woman that you are. 
and I don't know whether you're done with her, but I am done with her. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I don't want her either. You know, Mama told us about gold diggers like this. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm gonna, I'm out, but I'll catch up with you later, okay? <laughs> Shame. Steven, wait. Tony, we can talk about this. I mean, what am I gonna do? That's not my problem. Uh, I can't go back to being broke. I, I don't have any money or any place to go. You know what? I'm sure you've got enough Gucci and gold in those bags to attract someone else to use. Now, you have five seconds to get out of my house, or I am gonna call the police and tell them that I have a trespasser here in my house. Now get out! The moral of the story, using someone for what they have and pretending to love them, it's wrong and hurtful. God has a way of exposing wrongdoers, so stop while you're ahead. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for your support. We love you guys. Hey, remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and tell somebody about it. As always, like we always say at Vid Chronicles, remember, as you go about your day today, always let love lead the way. Thank you guys again.